Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Part 28, brand spanking new footage. Someone sent a link to me on the YouTube telling me this was new leaked footage from a high-powered observatory. It looks legit, seems legit. Now, I can't guarantee you 100% either way whether or not this is Comet Ison, but it, it looks like it could be. All right, here's the deal. I'm gonna let you listen and watch the footage uh, originally so you can hear the chitter chatter. Makes it feel more authentic. And that's got the NASA logo, logo up top. Supposedly it's leaked from NASA. So I guess if you take all that into account, it may or may not be true. It's up to you to decide. Uh, so I'll just play it all out in its entirety and then we'll go through it again a little. So, okay, so here we go. Fake, not fake. You decide. For the quality of the picture, uh, it is as it were. Hey, copy. That helps. Thanks. Here we go, folks. First images coming in of Comet Ison uh, getting close enough to be able to be seen by some high-powered telescopes other than Hubble. Okay, the, um, I don't know if you guys are still tracking it with the camera. And we have the telescope here at the project, and we're looking at this dirty snowball as it barrels towards Earth. Okay, kitties, what you're looking at here is Comet Ison coming in from a high-powered telescope. It's gonna lose it here in just a second. It's gonna be gone. He's still landing. Go ahead. Okay, we're in the process of uh, taking pictures with the 400. So it looks like a dirty snowball. Those of you who have never seen such a thing. We actually can't see it anymore, Brett. Okay, copy that. And that gets me excited, because at the end of the day, I do not want this to be doomy. I want it to be wonderful, magical, kick-ass comet that me and a gorgeous young lady can lay in a field and watch and even if that doesn't happen i guess then just me and the dogs and the horses will hang out in the field and watch it and then i'll get mad in a half hour when i cannot get the horses to look up and look at it they're not that interested in looking at the cosmos much like super hot young ladies i think because staring into the cosmos drives you to introspection and super hot young ladies may not be that big into introspection yet or technically ever but i digress this is cool footage either way and the gentleman who went into it seemed to have a lot of production values they even got some NASA-esque chitter-chatter going on. Dirty snowball? That looks like a dirty, fiery snow cone. Am I right? Man, is it just me? Or does that look big? That is what she said. Or, really, it's all relative. But that is what Einstein said. So yeah, it's cool looking. It'd be cool to think that was real. How they leaked it from NASA. I don't know. I do have a feeling that I do have a lot of big fans at NASA. They enjoy my videos. They're just not allowed to publicly state it. So who knows, maybe they leaked it. I had one of their buddies give it to me. Who knows, maybe it's totally fake. So I'll end up looking like a total idiot. But since I play the fool, I don't ever mind looking like an idiot, ladies and gentlemen. Though I do not want to disingenuously lead you guys in the wrong direction. The whole thing could be a hoax. Who knows, but I'm pretty sure that common ice is some type of a celestial body, I'd say. Anyway, good times, party people. I'm glad, hey, thanks to Racer X who sent me this stuff. Hope you enjoy. I enjoy. Man, these are crazy times, huh, crazy people? You are my party people, my astonishers. I hope you guys are enjoying this. You see, it's weird during these times where we're just looking at new footage. You can either turn the volume down, because I don't really say much, except for jibber jabber babble blah 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 because the data's doing all the talking. That's why we love these photographs, these videos, because we don't know. But either way, this is cool. I thought I'd share it with you. If it does come out that this was not what is advertised, please do not blame me. I did not know, and I could not see close, close enough up to see if this really was coming to us. And then we're going to kick on over to... The footage that was posted a few days ago saying, hey, this is Comet Ison. And the first thing my brain said is, wow, fake Comet Ison is fake. Like, that looks totally fake. Even though it does bear a resemblance to the QE2 1998 asteroid, which had a weird moon around it from its radar. This just seems totally fake. I mean, it's supposed to be from like a Chinese satellite, but I ain't buying it. I mean, it looks faker than the 2009 Dodd-Frank Financial Regulation Act. It looks faker than RuPaul's vagina. It seems faker than a corporate apology. Seems faker than BP's original estimate on how much the Deep Horizon explosion oil spill was going to release into the ocean. Seems faker than Ben Bernanke saying we will continue quantitative easing until unemployment gets low. I mean, that's a lot like saying the beatings will continue until morale improves. Seems faker than all the trolls on the internet. That looks faker than a tempo birth control pill. That looks faker than a $3 bill. Yeah, but I guess it's, it's so hoaxy, man. Maybe it's true. Who knows? I'll just put this at 99.9% .9 chance that it's fake. What is mildly creepy is that someone astute in animation, which is a very tough field, went to a lot of trouble to make this. Why they would do that? I do not know. These are crazy times filled with crazy people doing crazy things. So I like to remind you, like my daddy always said, trust no one. Hey, it's me. I mean, I'm definitely a trustable guy. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's always safer to be super paranoid.
Okay, whatever. Um, sorry if this wasn't up to my usual tippy top standards. After working my ass off Labor Day, day off, I was like, I'm gonna make videos. And guess what? I slept all damn day. Now I think I'm gonna go out and have a beer, try and catch the last half of a football game or something. Try and be around human beings, try and act human. I'm gonna see if that works. Thor thanks you for watching and listening. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get some more videos out. Still got a lot to say about combat icing. All right. God bless. Have a great weekend. Last night, she said, oh, baby, I feel so down. It turns me off when I feel left out. So I, I turned away. Oh, baby, I don't want to care no more. I know this for sure. I'm walking out that door. Because people, they don't understand. It looks legit. Seems legit. Now, I can't guarantee you 100% either way whether or not this is Comet Ison, but it, it looks like it could be. Gosh dang it, I really want to kiss a pretty young lady fast. But the Thor abides. I'll make it. I shall soldier on. Where's my Trinity? And I mean the hot chick from The Matrix, not the dude that owns GLP. Sweet. Have a good night. Drive safe. God bless everybody. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Part 28, brand spanking new footage. Someone sent a link to me on the YouTube telling me this was new leaked footage from a high powered observatory. It looks legit, seems legit. Now I can't guarantee you 100% either way whether or not this is Comet Ison, but it, it looks like it could be. All right, here's the deal. I'm gonna let you listen and watch the footage uh, originally so you can hear the chitter chatter. Makes it feel more authentic. And that's got the NASA logo, logo up top. Supposedly it's leaked from NASA. So I guess if you take all that into account, it may or may not be true. It's up to you to decide. Uh, so I'll just play it all out in its entirety and then we'll go through it again a little. So, okay, so here we go. Fake, not fake, you decide. For the quality of the picture, uh, it is as it were. Okay, copy, that helps, thanks. Here we go, folks. First image is coming in. 